G'day guys, welcome back. Doing another little experiment today with these crystal molds. And I'm gonna have another go at the peat tree. So I've got two different resins today. I have got this one here. Let's move my stool is Art Coat. It's one to one. And then this one here, which is getting very hot already. I've just got a little bit left, so I thought I'd try it. This Pro Marine is also one to one. The one to ones are more for top coats and they're usually thicker. So I'm gonna see how they go. But because they're thicker, they tend to hold more bubbles. So they've just been sitting there. Like I said, this one's getting quite warm. It's been five, 10, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. I'm gonna start with that one. Even though it's still quite runny, they actually feel about, they feel the same. So I'm gonna start with this one only because it's getting hot and I don't want a flash cure. <laughs> right, let's spray the inside of the mold with some alcohol. I'm gonna fill it up properly this time. For those of you that watched my last video, I had a bit of trouble, didn't I? All right. I actually mixed this one up wrong because I, I use the 360 plus by platinum so much I just automatically mixed it two to one um, and then it took me a while and I, was there and I thought oh no it's a one to one so then I had to go and add more of B because I did 30 of A 30 grams of A and um, um, what did I do what did I do? What did I do? Gosh, I can't even remember now. 35 grams of A and 16 grams of B. And then, yeah, and then I thought, oh, I need 35 and 35, silly woman. So then I had to go and add more. So I've got some left over. All right. And the other thing I'm going to change is I'm going to try the... Fluid alcohol inks by Octopus. So let's try those and see what happens. So yellow. Actually, I better leave them there so I can see what order they go in and then <laughs> what lids they're supposed to have on them. Blue, yellow, pink, blue, Purple. This one's called Sunlight. This one is Hot Pink. That one's Sapphire. That's Purple. And Lucky Green is what I am using today. Hopefully I've left enough room. And of course, oh, my pinata white. I haven't haven't shooken it up yet. How's this one going? Yep, it's not, it's not hot yet. So I thought I'd leave that one about 20 minutes and just see how it goes. So, oh, it's been, it's been 25 minutes already. 25? No. I thought I'd pour it at 3.30. I stopped at 10 past 3. So, 20 minutes. It's only been 15 minutes. You've got to, sh you've got to shake this really, really well, okay? Otherwise, all paste is down the bottom and then the alcohol is on top. All right, here we go. So, I haven't got as many colours this time. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to go again. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to drop the ink. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to do that with each of them. This one's already got pink, so we'll go pink here. One, two, three, four. Another layer. One, two, three, four. And then white. One, two, three, four. Like so. And then the blue. One, two, three, four. Oh, so I need to get like a fifth of the way around. That's a little bit more blue. So two rows of the colour. One row of the white. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. We're going five. One, two, three, four, five. I might have to put a bit more of the yellow down there actually. One, two, three, four. Four, five. I am missing and going on the side because it's not straight. I'll clean that later. All right, now the green. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four, five.
two, three, four, five. And I've got a bit of a gap here with the white, uh, the, the yellow. So let's just pop a little bit more yellow in. Okay, so that's it. Now I'm going to go again. My pink and my yellow have mixed, so I'm getting an orange. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Another row of white. One, two, three, four, five. I hope I'm going to get some kind of pink. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So two rows of the colour. One, two, three, four, five. And one row of the white. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Probably shouldn't have put the yellow <laughs> next to the um, pink because it's just kind of losing the pink, I think. It's going wrong order. It's going um, orange. Okay, and the green. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I want enough color so that it doesn't look too pastel if you know what I mean all right so that's those ones done and then I am actually going to go with another row of white just all the way around <clears throat> um I hope this doesn't it looks like a very icky color down there that that one I might change let's just change that order there see how that goes rather yep all right how are you going all right I'm going to wait a bit longer for this one it's not doing anything just yet I want it to be thick so we'll see see how it goes get my glove off ah! I'll clean this up a little bit later once it's sort of set because if I go dabbing at it now, it's just going to bring the colour in. All right, I will see you in maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. I just want this to thicken. All right, see you soon. All right, so it's been another probably about seven minutes and the art coat is getting quite hot. So it has been sitting for 25 minutes. It doesn't feel a lot thicker but I'm gonna go with it because it's getting hot <laughs> all right so oops wrong one Let's move that out of the way I'm gonna spray the inside of the mold again I've changed up the order of my colors because this is really yucky <laughs> yucky baby poo brown color happening in there it's on top. I don't know if it's going to be the same when they drop, but I'm just changing it. Um, and I've added. So I've got yellow, orange, blue, purple, pink, and green. Okay. Right, so I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to do same as what I did with that one. Drop two drops of each color with one drop of white. All right. Here we go. Um, start this way. Oh, God. Might help if I put the resin in. Oh, jeez, Louise. Hello to all the Louises. <laughs> all right, now make sure I fill this properly this time. This is the side here that I had issues with. I thought it was filling properly, but then it sort of all went to the bottom and I lost it. So don't fill it all the way to the top. You need to leave a little bit of room for your inks. Um, and then I like to have a little top coat as well, which covers that whole surface. Now I'll just stand back and have a little look. Make sure it's all gone down. Yeah, the only problem is with this thicker resin, you know, the, the bubbles. Ideally, I, and I think, but I'm not sure yet. We'll see how this, how the petries drop with the thicker resin. Ideally, it would be best, I think, to start with a thin resin 
um, so that you don't have very many bubbles. Um, and let it thicken. Okay. Yeah, that way um, you don't have the bubbles because this has bubbles right to begin with. All right, here we go. Start here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Change hands. Actually, I need to give it another shake, don't I? Because it's been sitting. The yellow, sometimes you might need a little bit more color. It doesn't seem to be as strong as the other colors. Okay, that should do. One, two, three, four, five. And then orange. One, two, three, four. Actually, I might not have enough room because I've got an extra color now. Blue. Oh no, I dropped some white. Oh no, come out. Okay, where am I going next? Blue, 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 blue. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ish. Okay, that's the blue. Next is the purple. Hope I've got enough room for all these colours. Pink next. Whoops, and the green. Actually, you better do this first, hey, otherwise I'm going to lose my colours. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, I think that's it. Yeah, I think if you maybe if you put the colours in first, because, you know, they spread and then you don't have enough room for all the colours. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go again. Another... Another two drops of each colour. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to do the colours first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ooh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What am I up to? Gosh. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, now I've swapped my colours over. Ah! Yes, I need pink in here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, something like that. And some green. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to go with a little, I'm going to kind of squeeze the bottle. I'm just going to go around a couple of times. Go around. I'm, I'm not counting the drops, I'm just sort of squirting as I go around, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll just see how that goes, hey? All right, let's get the lids back on. That one looks a bit messy too. <laughs> they all tend to look a bit muddy on top, but hopefully the colours will, you know, drop and not be too muddy. But we'll see. We shall see. Now, I'm not quite sure how long these are going to take to unmould. I know with a 360 plus I can do it, like, you know, eight hours later, but... Now this is the leftover Primarine and it is pretty much a gel set up. This one is still moving. So there we go. All right. Oh, it smells. Oh, the Primarine. I'm so spoiled with the platinum resins. They don't smell. They really don't. And then I use something like this uh, and it just stinks. It reminds me why I don't use it anymore. <laughs> Smells bad. <clears throat> All right. Now, um, I want to do a little bit of a torch just for bubbles. So it starts. All right, maybe not. As soon as I torch it, it starts moving. Like you can see it all moving. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it, right? Just be patient. All right. Okay. Um, now, there is a link to Octopus links down in my description there's no discount code because the company said it's already a really good discounted price so go figure no code but it's what I use and the links there if anybody likes it they sent it to me to try and so far um, it's been really good yeah. let's get my gloves off all right I will see you I'll see you when it's set so at the moment like there's no there's no droppage you can't see anything yet but hopefully in about an hour things will start 
to drop. But yeah, so far the best one I've had was the Platinum Ultra Clear. It was a really thin resin and I waited it I waited for it to thicken up. I waited it. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. I think I need a coffee. So I was using some resin for another project and I had a teensy wincy little bit left and I thought, oh, I wonder if I've got enough just to put a little bit of black on the top. So I did that. Wasn't any point videoing it. Not really. <laughs> It's just pouring a bit of black over the tops. Now, last time I did these, I unmolded them. I really struggled. So, I don't know that I'll show you the whole struggle again. Maybe they'll come out easier this time because the silicone's already been kind of stretched, but maybe not. All right, I'm just going to see if I can get some alcohol down there. And see if that'll help kind of helped a bit last time but but yeah I'm not going to show you the whole if I struggle with it again I'm not going to show you the minutes and minutes on the video because it's just boring so actually that's working a bit better this time I'm pushing from the top as well Okay, yep, this is working better, you guys. The mold's probably had a bit of a chance to um, settle in a little bit. Look! Now, because I did these the other day, I moved them. I put them over there. And now I don't know which one's which. But the one that's got the orange on it was sitting here. So I don't think it's that one. All right, we'll put that there for a minute. Let's do this one. Maybe I'm just getting better at doing them. But maybe the silicone's just kind of... Had a chance to soften up a little bit, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. But that one certainly was less of a struggle. Or maybe I'm just getting used to it. Spraying down there with my alcohol. Maybe I'm spraying it better this time. Maybe it's like getting right down. I'll give it a bit of a, a squish, get that alcohol moving. And then pushing see the crystals on top there I'm pushing those from underneath and pushing the center as well from underneath like so all right this is coming out easier <laughs> maybe I just did it wrong the first time hey I oh, struggled my gosh and I said to myself, if I'm going to struggle this time, I'm just going to fast forward the video so you guys don't have to put up with me struggling again. All right, so this one <clears throat> looks as if it's got a bit of orange in it. So that one was there. That one was there. Right, hang on. I'm just going to get up onto my little, my little box so that I can see what I'm doing. Move that one to the side. All right, here we go, you guys. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go, it's out. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, look at the micro bubbles though. So this is the this is the issue with using a thicker resin. The bubbles. I like the way that these haven't gone all the way to the tops and like left blobs on top. Because I just think it looks better. But I don't like the micro bubbles. So what I have learned from these two experiments, and I'll share that with you, use, this was, the, this was the other one I did. See? No bubbles. No bubbles. So with this, this resin, I used a thin resin to start with, so it had no bubbles in it, and I let it thicken. So that was the Platinum Ultra Clear. And then with this one, even though it's it's really pretty, it's got millions of micro bubbles in it. Um, and that's because I used a, a thicker resin. So the moral of the story is, yes, you need to wait until your resin's thick. Otherwise, your color just drops all the way down and leaves blobs on the bottom. So to avoid that, um, use a thinner resin 
and wait for it to thicken. That way we don't get the bubbles, okay? So me using a thick resin to start with for this particular procedure or technique hasn't worked because of the bubbles. All right, so that's that one. Still looks really pretty though, but I'll move you out of the way. So that was the, that was the platinum art coat, wasn't it, from memory? And then this one, this one's the tabletop, Primarine tabletop, this one. Okay, so they haven't dropped as far. They look really cute, but they haven't dropped as far. Like when it's that way, you know, they haven't, they haven't come down a lot because the resin was thicker. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to tell you. Um, because, because you want your color to drop slowly all the way down, not totally to the bottom because I don't like the blobbies, but you want it to drop down. So, um, use a resin that has a longer curing time this resin the color got to about here and then went oh no i can't go any further the resin's too thick i can't i can't i can't I can't whereas this one the resin even though the resin was relatively thick this is the platinum ultra clear even though the resin was relatively thick when it started, it's got a very long work time. So the color said, oh, this is pretty cruisy. I can make my way down, all the way down until the resin gets to a, a stage where I can no longer move in it. So that's that's what I've learned from these two experiments is to use a, a thin resin, wait for it to thicken, and <clears throat> let it have a longer working time. Okay, the Ultra Clear's got 70 minutes at 7-0. So even though it thickens up nicely after about half an hour and then I poured it, it's still got quite a long time for the colour to keep moving. This one, it just set up really quickly um, and the colour couldn't move. So those are those two experiments. This one's better. This one hasn't moved as much. This one's got less bubbles. This one's got a lot of bubbles. So anyway, that's that's my experiments. Um, and then these were the other two that I did. And then this was my favourite with the Ultra Clear. So there you go. That's my little experiment done with Petries. Hope you've learnt something. I sure have on how to do these petries. Um, yeah, so that was a lot of fun. I'm glad I did that little experiment. Certainly learnt something. Um, show me what you've done with your petries. Jump on my Facebook group, pouring your heart out. I'd love to see your your petries. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. And um, I'll see you all real soon. I mean, they're all beautiful, but if you don't want bubbles and um, you want a little bit more droppage, yep, go for this. I'm going to do this one again with the Platinum Ultra Clear and just maybe make a few more notes on how long to wait for it. Looks really pretty, hey, and it's ultra clear. All right. Thanks again for watching. Got to go. Got to make molds. <laughs> see you all real soon. Bye for now.